One of the most exciting things about analog photography is that you never really know what you're going to get because there's a chemical process involved and the fact that light can reach the film at all points during the process you just really never know what could happen and light leaks or film fogging was one such issue and with digital photography it's just not possible to achieve light leaks in camera but there is a way to create realistic light leaks using Photoshop and that's exactly what we're going to take a look at here so the first thing that we need to do is just make sure that our foreground and background colors over here on the left are set to the default of black and white so just hit D on the keyboard if black is in the background just hit X and you can toggle between the two but we want to have black on the left and then go down to the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and select gradient from the list of options so everything set up here is just right at the moment but we can just hit dither just because it helps to remove banding in the gradient so it makes sense just to click on that and then the next thing we need to do is just single left mouse click on the gradient itself and then we're just going to drag these two black points on the left over to the right until location says 70 percent so there's that one and then we'll just do the same over here and then i'm just going to click on the top up here just to create a new black point and i'm going to drag that over to 55 and do the same on the bottom so now we have our four main points over here and at the moment it doesn't look like we're going to get anywhere but everything will make sense in a moment so next up we're just going to take this white point on the top and drag it all the way over to the left and then we're going to click on the right hand corner again and create a new white point and then I'm going to drag it over to the left to 73 so what we're getting here is a really nice hard edge on the right hand side which is the top here and then on the left we're getting a much softer gradient so that's showing itself at the bottom here so once that's all done we just need to hit OK on the gradient editor to close it down and then we can refine the look of this gradient in the gradient fill dialog so using the angle dial we can change the angle of that gradient so I'm going to set it to 5 degrees just so we've got it going off at a slight angle and then I'm going to increase the scale to about 111 just to make it slightly fatter just because we've got a landscape image here so we could make it shorter by reducing the scale it really comes down to the type of light leak that you would like to create some are big and chunky and some are really thin so once you've got this basic technique down you can experiment with the different settings and work out what works best for you so once that's done when we hover the mouse pointer over the gradient we can move it into the desired position so i'm going to have it going kind of over here right over the focal point of the image so we just need to kind of remember where this was because we're going to create another gradient in a moment which actually creates the light leak itself this one remains hidden and invisible but creates the basis for the light leak as you'll see in a moment so just hit ok once that's done and then we'll change the blending mode from normal to screen which will make that black gradient completely invisible so next up just click on that foreground color which is set to black and we're going to choose a nice bright orange so for light leaks reds oranges and yellows typically work best and you can just choose whichever one you prefer but for me i really like orange and now we are going to create another gradient adjustment layer this time i am going to set the angle to 110 and the scale to let's go for 122 and then i'm just going to hit dither just to avoid that banding and then i'm just going to move that across over here because if you remember we've got that black invisible gradient going up this way 
So looking at it here, I think I would like it to be a bit stronger at the bottom. So I'm going to take it back down to 100% and then just move it across to the left. So once you're happy with the positioning, just hit OK. And then all that we need to do is hover the mouse pointer between the two gradient layers. Hold down Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac. So that's going to clip the top gradient to the bottom gradient and there you'll see we're getting that light leak effect and with darker images the effect is much more prominent so if you would like to make it weaker you can just use the opacity slider but if you would like to make the gradient stronger you can just hit Control and J or command and J on a Mac and that will duplicate that second gradient but now we just need to hold down alt or option and then just link that layer to the one below and there we're just kind of doubling the effect and getting a much stronger effect so there's loads of different ways that you can play with this it's it really is one of those techniques where experimentation is key to finding out just how it works but with this basic knowledge you can take it almost anywhere and then finally one of the things about film fogging is that you would get a really kind of hazy look because you've had that light leaking onto the film so to mimic that we can just create a levels adjustment layer and then it's simply a case of taking the black output point down here and just moving it over to the right until you're happy so i'm going to go for an amount of about 25 and that definitely looks much better so if i just group all of these layers so that's our before image and there is our light leak.